how to pause your game in Unity. Follow these steps. First of all, before pausing your game, you need to know something. Most tutorials in Unity use the time, time scale equals zero for pausing. But I will tell you something different. Don't use time scale for pausing your game. Why? I will explain it in this video. First of all, according to Unity documentation, time.timescale is used only if you want to immediately pause the game. Any such thing like animations and transitions don't work if you put time scale, because this line of code freezes all kind of movement and you don't want your game to look boring, like immediately displaying some information on the screen. To fix that problem, you need to put some other code that will stop the playback of all scripts that are played in this game. And to do that, first you need to put the pause into your input system, add a new input action, set it also to value any, like explained in the previous videos. Now, for the button, you can't press escape just if you want to listen. By pressing the listen button, you have to type escape, and then it will be displayed. So, enemy and player are the most critical and most crucial elements that have to be stopped during the pause. Before defining the void on game pause, I forgot to add this part of the video. Don't forget to call input actions, input action pause performed. It's like on jump but simply change it to on game pause, because new input system has a different syntax for reading values that exist in the input actions window. Now you have on game pause and simply call it void on game pause. And inside this void, you first have to define when the jump speed, movement speed, rotation speed and other movable values are equal zero. But you have paused the game. What now? How can you continue playing it? Well, the answer is simple. You need to add on game resume. I haven't found a way to do it with escape button, so I would have to add a new action. On game resume will be powered by the resume action. You can do it both in the same layer where you defined other input actions, but you can also add a new input action layer. Add it into on disable and on enable and copy on game pause and call it on game resume. This action will be another key, like spacebar. In the on game resume you have to copy these values but revert to previous. My project rotate is 360F, movement speed is 4 and jump speed is 8. Enemy follow. Define enemy object as a game object. Enemy script. And in on game pause, you should say this. Enemy script enabled false. This disables the enemy script. However, the enemy script re enables when you resume the game. Save the script and go back to Unity. Test it. Since the enemy cube doesn't stop its playback, you have to do this. Set nav mesh agent to disabled on pause and enabled on resume. Enemy object enabled true. And before playing the game, don't forget this enemy object has to be part of the player movement script because of the unassigned reference exception it happens when you forget now when you hit pause this happens when you hit pause again this happens this can be simply fixed by setting your enemy to kinematic before doing that make the simple pause screen 
add UI panel. Make the panel look like this. Then add a text mesh pro. Type the pause sign. You can also add a text to tell people what to do to resume playing. Make the pause screen simple, move it to the top and set the anchor point. Go back to the script and don't forget to tell it to enable or disable the pause object. Pause object active in hierarchy. First it has to be false at the beginning and then the script has to check if it isn't active and it's active when the game pauses and not active when you resume. Save the script and go back. When I pause, it works. When I resume, it also works. Perfect! It works fine, as expected. After running out of ideas, I have realized that this is the proper way to pause your game. If you have some other solution for how to use escape for all situations, comment and I will respond. Stay tuned to the next tutorials, videos about game dev process and other kinds of videos. Goodbye and have a good day.